Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt. Ashley. And uh, we just got done watching the silliest shit ever, and it was all because of you guys letting us know that it was real. And that was Mr. Petto, the the guy from the teacher from the N word. Yeah, from that episode. I cannot believe that shit was real, but that was fucking hilarious. So thank you. Hilarious. Thank you, everybody. Hilarious. And um, so we're gonna keep continue going. on now. People were saying that there was banned episodes, which we're aware about, but uh, is it season two or three? That, I, that, I mean, remember. we're already on 14, so... Is there a couple in season two that we did not see that were banned, maybe? Or is it season three? What well, might have to look into that. But you guys let us know in the comments. We will do our best. If it's available, if you guys have a link, link us to it. And yes. we will do our best to watch it, even if it gets a, you know... Even if it's not visible to everybody, we'll still react to it. So yep. let us know. Link it and uh, like, share, subscribe as always. And let's get into this. Yeah, the hunger strike. This should be good. Welcome to BET headquarters. I'm their believer. It's 2 p.m. <laughs> it's time for a morning staff meeting. Our leader, Bob Johnson, had a dream. A dream of creating a network that would accomplish what hundreds of years of slavery, Jim Crow, and malt liquor couldn't. The destruction of black people! Yo, sister. Is that so hard? Mr. Levil, since BET came into existence, terrible things have happened to black people. Uh, dropout rates, uh, teen pregnancy, unemployment, and incarceration have skyrocketed since our debut 25 Please years ago. So. We really believe Look we're at the making dog. it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, shit. Oh. The destruction of black people is not happening fast enough. The other day, I saw three niggas reading books. One of them was smiling. Yes. He will die. No, I'll have to go. <coughs> oh, and I need another math guy. You know, the dude with the charts and shit. Yeah, him. I need another one. <laughs> yeah. He's the guy in the background. He did. Math guy. You know, the dude with the charts and shit. He did. Yeah, him. I need another one. <laughs> yeah, and a cleanup crew. Oh, and another shoe. Left. No, Prada. <laughs> Why do you run in my Harvard educated president of entertainment? Tell me about the evil shows you have in development. Um, Tell it, brother. Mr. Sleevel, my Harvard education tells us that our goal is to take all the shitty reality shows MTV did five years ago and make them black. Anyone who wants to see a shitty black version of an MTV reality show, well, they'll have to come to us. What else? Next month, we're going to have our first award show honoring video hosts. Video host. Or as I like to call it, a <laughs> award show. <laughs> <coughs> Tell me that wasn't a thing. Awards. Right. <laughs> oh my uh, gosh. I don't get it. it. Must be some of that Harvard humor. Faggot ass faggot. Person <laughs> How are we fucking up niggas' money? Well, let's see. As you've requested, nobody outside this room has been paid for months. And you fired everyone that could read. Mm hmm. I love it! Okay. <laughs> and public relations? Isn't that supposed Mr. to be like Evil? Mr. Evil? Yeah, it's like... Mr. Evil and Mr. Bigglesworth. And but that. Pow Austin Powers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got one thing to report, all right? Some little nigga named Huey Freeman. Yeah, Apparently he all critical of the network and shit. Talking about he's starting a hunger strike. Why? What did we ever do to him except try to destroy black people? What? what? What's the problem? This hunger strike will continue until BET is taken off the air, the office is shut down, and all its top executives commit Japanese ritual suicide. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a kid. No one can stand in my way of destroying black people. Especially not. <laughs> Here we frame <laughs> New character. New character, you're right. Yep. Intro? I am the star. Yeah. Love it. I like the word that. I like the way they do that. Yeah, I, I, I like that when they do that too. That's It's great. I mean, they've really stepped their game up from season one. Yeah. It's your idea bright. The same spark that lights the dark so that you can know your left from your right. I am the ballad in your box, the bullet in the gun, the inner glow that let you know to call your brother son. The story that just begun, the promise of what's to come, and I'm a remaining soldier to the war. <laughs> 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 Oh. And to those of you that are new here, if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and like, share, subscribe. Oh, and Ashley just got off of work. So. I did. So you know what, guys? It was this kind of a night. 
Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers and good morning. Cheers and good morning. <laughs> Talk to the morning to ya. Fake me. Fake me. It is good. It was the third day of my hunger strike to bring an end to the tyranny of black entertainment television. Mm -hmm. Man, fake meat is good. Hey, could you pass me one of them veggie burgers? There was someone around here who used to love veggie burgers. You wouldn't remember uh. who that was, would you, boy? Hmm? <laughs> What's for all this hunger strike, boy? What did food ever do to you? Hmm? <laughs> Can I be excused, please? No, you are going to eat with the family, boy. Ain't nobody told you to crusade against BET? BET is out to destroy black people. My nigga, I watch BET every day, feel me? It ain't nothing wrong with me, feel me? Nigga, you just hating, feel me? That's why you ain't never gonna have no paper, ain't never gonna have no bitches, feel me? Wait, watch your mouth. See, that's BET. He's right, though, Huey. Women don't like all that hating. You better listen to your granddaddy. <laughs> you don't want to be bitchless. I know bitchless. Look, I'm bitchless right now. It's no fun. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> he said you don't want to be bitchless. <coughs> Hello? Hey there, um, good day. I'm looking for Brother Hewitt Freeman, please. Speaking. Hey, Brother Hewitt, my name is Reverend Rallo Goodlove, and it's my honor to speak with you. Wait. Yo, someone said that that was CeeLo. I can't believe it. Thank you if that is. That's too funny. I did read that. The yeah. Rallo <coughs> You mean the Rallo Goodlove who toured with Parliament Funkadelic in the 70s, <laughs> became a community activist in the 80s, ran for president twice in the 90s, and currently is the host of the syndicated public access show, What's Going On with Rallo Goodlove, Rallo Goodlove? Mm -hmm. The same. <laughs> anyway, I had to call and share with you my support of your hunger strike. How you feeling? Hungry. <laughs> well, you know, you made a powerful statement, young man. And I'm proud to call myself your ally. Are you going to go on the hunger strike with me? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, uh, no, 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 no. You see, I have to have dinner with Puffy later on. But don't you worry, though. <laughs> Together, we're going to bring our enemies to their knees. Now, listen. I'm holding a rally downtown tomorrow, brother. And I would love for you to come and stand with us. Brothers and sisters? I say brothers and sisters. Yeah. I don't know what this world is coming to. Yeah. But if you ask me what I think about BET, uh -huh. I tell you with no shame. BET sucks. Suck that dick. Suck I say it. that because when I sit and watch BET, yeah. my dignity yeah. is sucked away. And uh, my pride is yeah. sucked away. <laughs> and the progress we've made in the freedom struggle over the last five decades is sucked away. <laughs> now, brothers and sisters, we are here today because we're not going to let BET suck into more from us. Was there ever, was there ever... A, a real strike against B BET? There must have. There must I have mean, been. obviously. Well, from the show, yeah, but I mean, yeah. I didn't. I've never heard any of it, but I said, stand up. You guys, you guys. You know, know, you know what to do. Tell him I would not be a prisoner to your foolishness. I'm free, free, and I would not be captured by your ignorance, because I'm free. I will not be trapped in the Negro Fire Matrix either, because I am. <laughs> just benefiting is this a sharpton i said it on when we first saw good love but he seems like he's like sharpton like just riding coattails of victims yeah you know? it's a self there you go
<laughs> and he's like, what the fuck is going on? Granddad, you should have seen it. Reverend Goodlove, it was amazing. Man, the people were so inspired. Oh, yeah, I saw it on the news. It looked like American Idol to me. I still don't know what the <laughs> problem is with BET. I love Beyonce. Shoot, little sweet thing. Oh, shake it, girl. Shake it, girl. Shake it, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't you hungry yet? I love Granddad. I do, too. He's hilarious. Well, I was thinking that tomorrow we could reach the people by marching to the BET headquarters. No, no, we ain't gonna do no shit like that. Um, now, here we Black people have style, and we are attracted to things of class, especially you young people. <clears throat> now, see, but that's what makes BET so dangerous now. Excuse me. It sells you young people a lifestyle that you're attracted to. Mm, it's good. But, uh, but you can't afford it. <laughs> and in order to oh, save them kids, I got to reach them kids. Mm. Now, see... When I shine, they walk toward me for the light of them diamonds. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. But when they walk away from me, they got the light of that truth. You think I want to be at the Vibe Awards? Do you really believe I want to be ringside at the championship fight? Mm -mm. You think I want to be doing skating with the stars? Is he eating caviar? Yeah. Up my <laughs> God damn it! Buddy, this ain't no beluga caviar! Let's see, for example, let's look at music. Now, here's my rap demo. Personally, I like jazz and gospel, but if I spit that hot fire, I might be able to read some of them kids I done. See, the thing with me, though, is what I do, and I'm gonna do it for the people now. I is he supposed to be like Jesse Jackson then? If he's a reverend? Uh, reverend? I don't know. I think I he's a mixture of both. He's a mi maybe. maybe maybe a combination of both. I don't know. They're night to get their attention, and it's hard. It's hard work, Huey. Look, I even know all the new dances. You Superman in the Superman. The new slogans are ready for your <coughs> oh. B E T. It's what's on in the background. Huh. B E T. You niggas have nothing better to watch. Uh huh. B E T. Complain to someone who gives a fuck. <laughs> huh. Now think about it. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Sleeple, but the Freeman boy is on CNN. What's CNN? But ah. I submit to you today. That Rollo the greatest tragedy to hit Black America in the 21st century. I know just how to deal with the good reverend. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to good love and a very slow news cycle, the boycott became a big story and started to take off. Man, fuck the ET. I'm gonna read a book. Word got around, BET was evil. Okay, welcome back, little lambs. Uh, we are sitting here with former BET host sister Sherry Carter. First things first, you never could get that hair right now, could you, baby? Oh. <laughs> but we was with you, baby, because you had those big old thighs and you was a red bone. Mm. Never could understand how sister that light skin had bad hair, though. Is Tigger short for tiger and nigger, or are you just a big old fan of Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> you a former BET host and big old fan of Winnie the Pooh. Had bad hair, though. Is Tigger short for tiger and nigger, or are you just a big old fan of Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> we are with uh, former BET host Tavis Smiley. Now, Tavis, correct me if I'm wrong, but you had some problems over there at BET now, didn't you? Well, I'm not going to lie and say I didn't. Yeah, but things went okay for you afterwards. I mean, uh, after all, you do have an NPR show. Well, yes, I do have the NPR radio show, and I also have a talk show on PBS. Oh, two shows. I guess that beats my one, huh? <laughs> You're doing real good, brother. You're doing real good. You know, I don't think I've ever been invited to either one of those shows, though. Well, then we'll just have to get you on now, won't we? I mean, I put you on my show, you know. I'm sharing my light, helping you move a book or two, but I don't see the favor being returned at all. So I was just checking to see if I had done something wrong to you. I think we're out of time. Motherfucker, that's my line. <laughs> See, yeah, he, said, that... he said, motherfucker, that's my line. I think we're out of time. Motherfucker, that's my line. <laughs>
That's a definitely a, a, a strip club name. That's a good one. That's, that's a good strip club that's name. That's right there with Peach Crease. Peach Crease. Uh, a good <laughs> Reverend Good Love at the House of Cheeks strip club. And it doesn't look like he was talking politics. <laughs> I bet you're hungry now. <laughs> Buddha butt, Buddha butt. I'm saying, man, doesn't look good. Jesus walked amongst the people. Muhammad walked amongst the people. I am a people person here with. All the great prophets embrace the people. You're embracing her butt, Reverend. Listen, child, I can speak in colleges and get paid a whole heap of money. But if you're in college already, you don't need Rollo Good Love as much as a young brother out there in the gang or a young sister in the strip club needs Rollo Good Love. Have mercy. Now see, if I walk into the strip club and start talking to a sister about progressive politics and all that, better in her life and voter registration, you think she gonna talk to me? But if I grab me a handful of that big old ass and ask for a dance, now she just gonna think I'm just another trick when I'm really an instrument of her salvation. Now, I have set the table for change. Yeah, she grinding on me trying to get that little $20. But she gonna get a whole lot more than that, believe me. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes you'll find oh a apartment, gosh. maybe even a job. Yeah, but it still looks pretty bad. I just hope it doesn't hurt the boy, because <coughs> I don't think I can go without food much longer. This wasn't the first blow to Reverend Goodlove's public image. Do you own a car? <laughs> you own a key to some cash. Last year, Reverend Goodlove signed on to pitch high-interest loans that exploit the poor and desperate. Call the Lone Ranger! I fear it not your scandals. My name is Rollo Goodlove. That was too funny. I got it. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> I fear it. He said, exploit the poor and desperate. Call the Lone Ranger. Call the Lone Ranger. Scandals. My name is Rollo Goodlove. You can't sell it, my reputation. I take your attacks as a badge of honor. They called Martin Luther King an adulterer. They called Muhammad Ali a communist. And for 2,000 years, they called Mary Magdalene a prostitute. Come to find out that's Jesus' baby mama. Y'all saw the Da Vinci Code. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> Rollo just knew how to spin it. I don't think there's anything wrong with a stripper's ass in a grown man's face. But I do have a problem with BET putting strippers' asses in the faces of our children. Or maybe by now, <laughs> Rollo was just weren't surprised by anything he did anymore. Well, of course it was a setup. I believe the release of this video was engineered by BET themselves, working in conjunction with the Republican Party and, and the FBI thing. Good Love escalated the attack on BET by producing a DVD called BET, The High Cost of Low Standards. These are the poor. These are the forgotten. The victims of black on black crime. These are the employees of black entertainment television. Like I said, just exploiting the victimhood and, and riding it all the way up. So, yeah, I, I think this was real. Yeah. Now these two comedy Well, the the that, character, what he's doing is certainly real, like what others in the past have done, just follow Right, but I, I think that's something that happened with BET like that. Oh, it had yeah, to have been. Yeah. Well, well, I know, we'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> Two dollars for a pilot script. When will this tragedy end? Wait. Comedy writers, employees of black entertainment television. Now these two comedy writers were only offered two dollars for a pilot script. When will this tragedy end? The situation has gotten so bad that workers at this Walmart store took up a collection for BET employees. Wow. I don't know. Just seemed like the right thing to do helping people less fortunate, you know. But, as a Walmart employee, isn't it true that you were forced to work overtime hours off the books and you had to get on food stamps? Yeah, they forced me to work overtime to get on the food stamps, but at least I ain't working at BET, so <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Even this <laughs> non-legal immigrant worker donates money to BET employees every month. Wow. Me and my family, we don't have much. But we give everything we have to the poor BET workers. This is not what America is about. 
And black entertainment television is really feeling the heat now from this nationwide boycott started a week ago by a 10-year-old boy on a hunger strike. The NAACP announced this morning that it is asking its members to join the boycott to make the network more socially responsible. Master! Oh, this is an unexpected pleasure. We are honored by your presence. Okay, first of all, why do you always kneel when I walk in the room? That's just weird, so weird. Yeah. Second of all, we've got to figure out this whole boycott thing, all right? It's killing us. Ah, but it is Huey Freeman and Reverend Goodlove who will soon be doing the dying. But we're looking at getting some ninjas in for a cheap price. Yeah, look, just talk to them. Give them whatever they want, okay? Just handle it. Not everyone is in support of the boycott. Listen to what this BET supporter had to say. Every time a black baby is born, <laughs> I'd give him a plasma TV and one channel. BET. Slap it right on the ceiling over the crib. By the time that nigga's 12, he'll be watching it in jail. <laughs> BET forever. BET. Boom by ya. BET. Boom by ya. That's kind of. <laughs> Surprised you guys haven't. Hey! Ruckus is, is oh, an, a mess. He's just. He's too funny. He's Boom by ya! And, and we hear the tuba now. That that tuba is too distinct. By the time that nigga's 12, he'll be watching it in jail. <laughs> BT forever! BT! Boom by ya! BT! Boom by ya! That's kind of language they understand. <laughs> Surprised you guys haven't given him a show. Goodness. Call good luck. Yo, he said, I'm surprised you haven't given him a show. Remember what people were saying, how uh, Ruckus gets his own reality oh, show? Oh, yeah. Is this, uh, where, is this where this is going? And apologies about the dog. She's just, she wants to be in with, you know. A meeting! It was in the news that I first heard the boycott had ended. The details were sketchy, but there was no mention of the network shutting down, nor of ritual suicide, so I feared I had been had. A show? You sold me out for a show? Damn it, Huey! You can't change BET from the outside. You got to change it from the inside. This is victory, brother. Now my message, our message, will get to the people. It's a sitcom called My Dad Rollo. Do you have any idea how hungry I am? You think I want my own sitcom, Huey? No, I really don't. But you can catch more flies with honey than you're ever gonna catch with vinegar. And brother Huey, laughter is that sweet, sweet honey. Oh, Lord, child, have mercy. Niggas is just gonna be niggas. So you might as well get that money while you bullshit. Boy, stop. Boy, just stop. Then go get something to eat. Me and Puffy haven't done that at the Chateau. You know you're welcome to come, don't you? Thanks, Granddad. Granddad, what do you do when you can't do nothing, but there's nothing you can do? You do what you can. Oh, by the way, did you hear they're giving Ruckus a job at BET? Can you believe that? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with those people over there? Damn, they'll give anybody a job at BET. Oh man! I don't want one. Shoot. I you don't guys want. are right. Uh, this has to be. They they are right. This is well. They probably seen the show, well, of so course, they know. Of course they've but seen the on. show. But come on. But the way it's going down, that's what's the point. I'm glad it wasn't a, a spoiler per se to know that he's has a reality show. At least that's that's the only thing I read was that he has a reality right. show. So I'm I'm super excited for that. And this, I don't know if there's an episode 15. So we're about to find out if there's an episode 15. Um, let us know about the band episodes. Band episodes. And we'll look into that as well. Link us if you have anything. And uh, if you have any other ideas, let us know at wellhellosilly at gmail. And until then, until next time, well, goodbye. Bye.